All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who are the apostles and elders of the true nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Mexicans, uh, you know, Cubans, Jamaicans, Haitians, South Americans and the rest of Israel that's been scattered around the world, all right? The, uh, and uh, those those people that I just named, y'all are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, all right? And this is by faith, you know? It's not by faith, you know, it's not by uh, sight, you know, it's by believing, you know, having faith, all right? And... This gospel that we preach is not something we made up. We believe that this is the true gospel of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. All right. Now, this sit down is basically going to go into only Israel is going to be saved, and only the kingdom of heaven is for Israel, the true nation of Israel. Okay. And uh, this is Isaiah 126, and it says, "And I will restore thy judges, as at the first." And thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. So this is a prophecy that's going to come into play, which hasn't came into play yet. But the elect and the true nation of Israel is being gathered. All right. I'm going to go to uh, Revelations. So like you. My little bookmark. Alright. Uh I'ma read from this is Revelations twenty one. I'ma read from nine to twelve. It says, And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talk with me saying come hither and i will show thee the bride and the lamb's wife the lamb's wife is israel all right the gathering of the elect has to be sown in revelation 14 and chapter 7 that's that's the lamb's wife yahweh shah is the lamb and the gathering of the people the people's uh is is it's, it's like the word wife is representative uh the elect you know the gathering you know and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city like how it says in isaiah the holy jerusalem descending out of the heaven from the most high having the glory of the most high and her like what uh salaki and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone clear as crystal and had a wall great and high it had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and names written therein thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel so that's what it's about only israel is going to be saved in the lord I'm going to end that. Now, this is the book of Acts. Chapter 1, verse 6. And these are the apostles when they seen the Lord after he uh, rose from the dead. They said, when they therefore will come together, they asked of him, the Lord, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of to Israel so the Lord Yahweh who is even called Jesus Christ who is a so called black man with white woolly hair he's going to come and restore uh, the kingdom of Israel he's going to bring back our captivity you know he's going to take us out of captivity where we've been, we've been scattered around the world and especially in America alright This is uh, Isaiah 
20 and 21. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. And Zion's a people before a place just like how Jerusalem is. And the Redeemer, who is Yahweh, the Lord is the Redeemer. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, said the Yahweh. So that's what it's about. The only ones that can be turned from transgression is uh is the is the seed of Jacob, which are these so called black Latinos, Native Americans, and to the Israelite foreigners that's been scattered around the world. As for me as for <laughs> as for me, hell no, nah, country. As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Yahweh. My spirit that is upon thee and, and the spirit that's upon us is us breaking out these scriptures through Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And waking up the hopeful elect, the one third that consists of men, women, and children. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, and these are the words, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. So this knowledge that's been bestowed upon us is not is not going to leave us, whether we die, you know. Uh, it's going to be with our children and our children's children. You know, it's an inheritance. And the only ones that's going to be saved is the nation of Israel, which are you so called Black Latinos, Native Americans. Now, uh, so like you, I'm going to go to, um, I think I messed up my bookmark. Now, this is Isaiah. 45 and 17 but Israel shall be saved in the Yahweh with an everlasting salvation ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end there goes that word again world like how it says in John 3 16 that world is the nation of Israel which are the so called black Latinos Native Americans that's who the Lord died for that's that's uh that's that's what John three sixteen means. That word world means cosmos, cosmos, which means a society or a people. John three sixteen, for the Most High so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. But guess what? The Most High, the Redeemer, He came or He died to redeem. The nation of Israel, first the 144,000, then the rest of the nation of Israel. If you're not part of the one third, the 144,000, you are a two third, and you will be cut off, but you will be saved uh, in the Lord. You'll be saved. You'll be, you'll be saved, man. All right. If you're a black Latino, so-called black Latino, Native American, Mexican, Seminole Indian, you know, you're gonna be saved. You are an Israelite, but you have to be of the 144,000 or one third. You have to believe in this gospel. Believe on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, believe the gospel that's being preached through the apostles, and elders, the great millstone, and brothers on down. You know, and um, I had another scripture. I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to get this. This is John 3 and 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Who Who is the Son in the Most High? It's Yahweh Shai. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath in the Most High abided on him. You know, and that's what's about to happen to the two thirds of our people that don't believe on Yahweh Shai. Because ultimately they don't believe in Yahweh. You know. And, uh,. I think it was in Jeremiah. I wanted to read. Uh, damn, I believe it was in uh, Salakia. Was it in Jeremiah? I had it. I had a bookmark. Damn it! I thought it was in Jeremiah, man. Damn. Like it. Damn, man. Uh, 
Yeah, that's uh, I believe that's all I'm gonna get. You know, uh, basically, the point has been proved. Only uh, the true nation of Israel would be saved, and that's what the kingdom is for. It's not for everybody. He didn't die for the whole world. You know, that's bullshit. All right. So with that, uh, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And, the, and uh, peace and blessings to the brothers after teaching his word in truth and sincerity. And peace and blessings to the one-third, like sister, men, women, and children. Shalom. And uh, we are about to be up out of here soon. A lot of prophecies are kicking off. Just keep the faith and keep believing on Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Don't let your sins weigh you down. You know, keep striving, keep pushing. Because this is a fight, a spiritual fight. All right? Shalom.